Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the NHL that's kind of like this. Yesterday, when I was kind of thinking, okay, what do I want to talk about in tomorrow's show, I was thinking a lot about the Brendan Gallagher comments, where he called out the NHL and questioned their consistency with allowed and disallowed goals, and I was like, okay, that's going to be a great roasting the NHL kind of video. Then, this morning, we had ourselves the Brad Marchand Instagram post, where he absolutely flames Vincent Trocek, saying that he's like a Lamborghini and Trocek is like a Prius. That was funny. That was a great post. I wanted to make a video about that. Instead, I was like, okay, sorry, Gallagher, we're not going to make a video about your comments. We'll make a video about this Marchand thing. And then I saw this interview. Leon Dreisaitl and Hall of Fame reporter Jim Matheson getting into it during the, what was it, the post-game, like, no, not post-game, they didn't play today, post-practice media availability done with Leon Dreisaitl. If you don't know, Jim Matheson is a guy that has been kind of in this spotlight for Edmonton Oilers reporting ever since, like, the 70s. Like, he's a very, very well-decorated reporter. And he's been in this position for so long that he has seen the ups, he has seen the downs, he's been reporting for the journal forever now. And so, with being in the spotlight for so long, like Matheson has always been, his name has been attached to many Oilers conversations when it comes to journalists in the city, beat reporters in the city, and as of recently, the conversation has started up as to whether or not these reporters are actually doing a good job. The Oilers are a bad team right now, they've been losing games like crazy, and... It's kind of a pattern that we see for hockey teams that are doing poorly, especially in Canadian markets, to be asked the same questions over and over again. What can you do to improve? Where are you going wrong? What's next? Stuff like that. You know, it's pretty routine for the media and the relationship between the media and the players in this climate, that that's usually the route that we go down. And so, earlier today, Jim Matheson of the Edmonton Journal had himself a question that he asked to Leon Dreisaitl. And things kind of get wild. I'll leave a link in the description to the Tim and Friends video that is on Twitter that has the entire exchange. It's about a minute long. And what I did was I transcribed this entire conversation here, and I wanted to read it out for you. The reason I transcribed it as best as I could is because it really does articulate in verbal written form just how crazy this interaction really was. Matheson, talking to Leon Dreisaitl, asked him this. Lots of reasons for why the Oilers are playing the way they are in terms of winning and losing. What do you think is the number one reason for the losses now? Is there is there one thing that you're, in your own mind, saying, we gotta get better at that? Leon Dreisaitl starts shaking his head when Matheson says, what do you think is the number one reason for the losses now? You could see him smiling, and he's shaking his head, and Leon Dreisaitl replies, saying, Yeah, we, ha we have to get better at everything. Would you like to expand on that? Matheson asked. Nope. You can do that. You know everything. Now, this is kind of where things go off the rails. Leon Dreisaitl, in my head, kind of throws the first shot by saying, Oh, you know everything. But of course, you know, just taking this entire conversation at face value is probably not the best thing to do. So I'll just put this in italics right here. You know everything is kind of what causes Matheson to reply the way that he does. And the way he replies is pretty good. Why are you so pissy, Le Leon? Hmm? Why are you so pissy? I'm not. I'm just answering your, yeah, you are. Whenever I ask you a question, I gave you an answer. Not a very good one. Okay. Now, at this point in the video, you can hear people talking in the background. They're kind of saying stuff, and unfortunately, you can't really understand what they're saying, but there are definitely people talking in the back, and Matheson kind of cuts those people off, and he says, I have one more for you, Leon. You show your frustration on the ice last game against Ottawa. Is that a good thing when you show it, so the other teams know you're frustrated? And the way he said it was kind of like that. Is that a good thing that you do this and you show off that you're mad and Leon smiles when Matheson says when you show it you can see him smile pretty widely he's like yeah it's a great thing for sure and then the other people that were talking in the background say okay that's it thank you Leon and then he's like okay great and then he gets up and he leaves this exchange is probably the highlight exchange of the year between a media member and a player and it's so crazy how this thing went down because you know, I went to BCIT for radio. 
Radio arts and entertainment is my thing. It was a two-year program. I went from 2018 to 2020, and I graduated with honors. And in my program, we learned not only the ins and outs of the radio business, so how to turn up knobs and how to talk in a way to a microphone that expands and allows an audience to be captivated by what you're saying, because at the end of the day, radio is just talking. When you remove all the skin and the meat, and you're just left with the bare-bones idea of what radio is, it's just speaking. And we also learn in the program journalism. Proper etiquette when it comes to asking questions, how to formulate a story, how to write a story, how to phrase quotes into your story. And when it comes to being an interviewer, you know, Matheson's been in this position for a long time. He's been interviewing players since the 70s. He is 70 himself. And so, from my perspective, there is a certain etiquette that reporters have to go out there and exhibit when they're interviewing clients. Let's say clients, because there's a relationship between the journal and the Edmonton Oilers. Say what you will about the questions and the quality of questions that the Oilers media asks these players, but it's fair for Matheson to go out there and ask him a simple question. Hey, is there one thing in your own mind that you're saying we gotta get better at? Sure, Leon might not think that your question is a good one, but he shakes his head and he says, yeah, we have to get better at everything. Matheson responding to Dreisaitl's answer with a follow-up question saying, would you like to expand on that, is also fair in my books as well. You're encouraged to ask follow-up questions and just do what you can to try to get an answer out of a player if the player is not giving you an answer that you want. Nope. You can do that. You know everything. Now, Leon, to his credit, is throwing shots here. You can do that. You can expand on what we have to get better at, because you know everything. Now, at face value, as I said, this could be seen as a pretty bad quote, but context does matter because Matheson is indeed one of the guys who writes articles in a way that sort of takes things out of context. Like, I don't want to disrespect the guy's work too badly because he does indeed have this big resume of long-term storytelling with the journal, but like, there's a reason why the Edmonton Oilers and the players on the Oilers kind of see Matheson and the questions he asks and respond in such a specific way. Leon Dreisaitl is pretty much saying, yeah, no, no matter what I say, you're the one who's going to talk about what we're doing poorly at, because you're the one who knows everything. You always write your articles like this, and you're looking for a quote from me to exploit into the media again to sell clicks. Now, that's not what he says verbatim, but that's kind of the message that I got from hearing the Dreisaitl quote, especially knowing the context behind it. And so, when Matheson replies, why are you so pissy, Leon? This is kind of where things go off the rails. As a journalist, sure, if a person is giving you attitude, you have the right to be upset. It's just, when you go on record and express that frustration in the same way you're saying Leon Dreisaitl expresses his frustration on the ice against Ottawa, it's all of a sudden pretty equal. Like, you're no longer in a position where you're being wronged here, Matheson, when you go down there and you're like, yeah, why are you so pissy, man? Why are you so pissy? And then Dreisaitl says, no, I'm not. I'm just answering your question. And Matheson's like, yeah, you are. Whenever I ask you a question, you are pissy. Like, he lost his cool there. Plain and simple. Sure, you could demand an answer out of Leon Dreisaitl, but you lost your cool. There are ways to do that without losing your cool. Especially as a journalist who has been in the business since the 70s. Okay, how long is that? It's 2022, right? So 50 years? 50 years! And stuff like this still being as rattling as it appears to be for Matheson. Yeah, it's uh, not really the best, I think. Especially towards the end when Matheson asks a question that is very clearly motivated towards making Drysaddle feel bad. It's very clearly a question that is demonstrated just to attack Drysaddle's character. I have one more for you, Leon, especially in the way that he said it, too. You show your frustration on the ice against Ottawa. Is that a good thing when you do that? Is that a good thing when you show off your frustration so the other team knows you're frustrated? And because Drysaddle is like, you know, he kind of knows what the media is doing here. He smiles really widely because he's like, yeah, he knows that Matheson is trying to get him to feel a certain way. He's like, yeah, it's a great thing, for sure. And then he leaves. So, there's so much to go over when it comes to this interaction here. I felt like I had to make a video about this. Talk to me in the comments all your thoughts about Leon Dreisaitl and Matheson verbally going at it in the press conference. Is there any context that I'm missing here? Is there a reason why Leon probably has this sort of attitude towards Matheson and his questioning? Is it really just because Matheson and the Oilers questioning, or not the Oilers questioning, but like the Oilers media questioning, is that cut and paste and dry? Or is there another piece of layering that 
makes this story come together a little bit better. Talk to me in the comments about your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this Vishra Ashros and I and I. And bye. <laughs>